Hey guys, welcome just to uh, an extra bit of video because I forgot to mention something on the on the video about I think all the things. So when I talked about the because we are simulating an async service before it's async, let me just get this out of the way. We'll use just the get all async as a as an example. So uh, I told you that because we are simulating it being a sync, we are using this task from result to return an, a complete task. I just wanted to add, I had this plan and then forgot to mention it, that imagine that we have uh, already implemented a a blocking database call for some reason, because you are using a, an old provider or some something like that. So, then we have this, so normally Considering what I mentioned in the episode, we would do this. But I've seen and heard a lot of times people doing something like making this async and then return await task.run. Something like this. Well, what this does is basically uh, using task run. It's basically basically scheduling another thread or asking for a thread on the thread pool to run the code that we pass in here. So this seems like it's async because we are, we have async and await, but basically we are just uh, asking another thread to block. So we are on the on the thread pool when we get here on a request handling thread and then we ask the thread pool or just uh, run this so instead of blocking here that what this code would do block immediately we are just asking for another thread to block and i don't feel like this is really useful maybe if you want to do something in parallel for some reason and task run can also be used for some synchronization co context tricks and stuff like that. But in general, doing this to make it async, it's not useful because we are, like I said, we are not blocking a thread, but blocking another. We add the cost of the context switch to the, to the mix that we didn't have before. So if we are going to block, just block it like this. It, it's almost the same and maybe with better perf no need to to do this that's what, what what i think if you know some reason why this is useful please let me know but from what my understanding this isn't really really useful as it is maybe if the task run is somehow configured to run on a different thread pool and that thread pool has more threads but even then i don't know if that's useful so yeah this extra bit of video was just to to mention this because i totally forgot to 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 mention task run should be used for for uh, cpu bound work so like you have a lot of calculations maybe you want to do them in parallel stuff like that task run is useful for that kind of things but not to block with io just not to block the current thread that probably isn't the best use of task run okay so i think that's it for this extra small video following the massive video that's that is missing all the things hope to see you in the next one see yous